Just hours after a state of emergency was declared in the island nation of Maldives, this boat carries a prominent opposition leader to the country's main jail on a remote island. Mamun Abdul Gayoum was arrested on charges of bribery, which the opposition says is politically motivated. His family released a video earlier in which he urged his supporters not to lose hope. Police came to arrest me. I'm going with them. I don't even know why they are arresting me. I've done nothing wrong or unlawful. I urge the people of the Maldives to be strong and stand with us. We will win. Abdul Gayoum was arrested with two judges, further deepening the political crisis. It all began on Thursday when the Supreme Court called for the retrial of nine opposition politicians, including exiled former President Mohammed Nasheed. Judges also reinstated 12 MPs who had lost their seats for supporting the opposition. But President Abdullah Yameen refused to comply with the ruling and celebrations turned into protests. Yameen also declared a 15-day state of emergency and ordered the military to secure the parliament building for an indefinite period. Any effort to impeach the president would be blocked by the military and the police force. So the parliament cannot function and the Supreme Court cannot function at the moment. In addition to the two judges, police raided the house of the administrative head of the Supreme Court. The court says police didn't have enough evidence to arrest the judicial executive. President Yamin, who happens to be the half-brother of arrested leader Abdul Qayyum, came to power in 2013. That was a year after Maldivian police and army overthrew President Mohammed Nasheed. But in a shaky democracy, President Yamin has also faced similar allegations of becoming authoritarian and being corrupt. The Supreme Court was expected to rule favorably on a petition to impeach Yamin. Opposition leaders allege the president's loyalists made it clear that they would not comply with such a verdict and launched a crackdown. For now, the country, best known for its tranquil beaches, is struggling to deal with yet another round of political turmoil. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.